have a Briar, uh, Web Scotch Original 3 Plus. The problem with this dryer, it works fine, everything is just uh, whenever. Whenever uh, they put, put, put the quarters in and then they start it, uh, it just won't stop. The dryer is supposed to be cycled on and off to a certain temperature, like uh, 300 degrees. And this one just won't stop, it keeps on going. So we're gonna go in the back and check. So usually for this dryer, when that goes, when something like that happens, you're gonna have to take this off, these two bolts off. That way, you can go, you will be able to see the limited switch. The limited switch is located right there behind these. Once you take this off, you take that off, it comes off, and then you take you unscrew it, and you will see it. Uh, I believe that's the one that is not working properly because those supposedly turn on and off depending on the temperature of the switch. Usually if the temperature says 400 degrees, it should pop off when it gets to 400 and turn the whole dryer off. And then once it kind of cools off, then it turns the uh, dryer on again, yeah, cycle by cycle. But if these ones go bad, then they stay open all the time, or they stay closed all the time. But in this case, I believe the problem is that is this one stays on all the time. So let's take it out and check. Okay, so I took the, the two balls from there, and they're right here. Um, and then you just pull this out. And then you take, I just took one of the bolts, all the screws out from there, and I bend it. So, yeah. Well, anyways. So this is the capacitor switch. I can barely see the numbers though. But uh, but I believe it says L two hundred forty F. So that's what you want to look at. There's a more important thing right there. So, uh, so sometimes like they're too old, so you won't be able to see it. But uh, you can either look at the of the dryer uh, specific numbers, like right here, and you order the switch by the dryer. So all we have to do now is just take those two screws out and put the new one in and then put it back in there. See how that works. And take that off. This is the old one. All you gotta do is uh, take the take these two screws out and then they'll come off. The, as far as the wiring, it don't matter which one goes where, it's the same thing. So, once you put it back in, put the uh, electrical connectors, you no matter where. I just, I just put this back in here. And then, this. now all I gotta do is just slide it in there like this. So basically, it's how it's gonna look like this. Over there, I'm just gonna put it behind it. And then put the bolts right here. One, two, and then that's it. That's all you gotta do. And that should fix your problem or overheating. Yeah, because a lot of times you customers come and they uh, start their dryers and they're not watching it. They just go somewhere and 
they uh, they come back and uh, their clothes smell like burning or it's like uh, especially when there's like kind of like um, sometimes uh, the like blankets or whatever stuff they put in there if it's too hot they get all wrinkled so this is the reason why it gets too hot you'll be able to see you'll, you'll notice it's like burning hot like you'll put your hand in there be like oh it's hot like burning hot you will touch your finger be like hot like your clothes you'll take it out and be like way hot so that's how you know it's something's wrong it's not cycling like it should all right thank you Okay, I just turn it on, the dryer is working right now, I don't know if you can see it's going, and uh, it's, uh, it's turning off and on like it should, see the temperature switch is on low, when I turn this high, it should come on, a little bit, see right now it's just, so that's how you know this is not the problem. If you turn this off all the way to low and the dryer is still uh, not turning off like cycling, even though you replace the limit of switch. overheating either that one right there let me switch or this one right here but like I said how do you know if you move this down and up and it's not doing anything thank you for 